wet and rainy day here. Um, yesterday we got a decent amount of rain and today so far we've gotten six tenths um, of an inch, which I'm not going to say that we don't need it. But right this second, we kind of don't need it. It's really, really wet. Um, just waiting for things to dry out, hopefully one day, and then uh, go from there as far as uh, getting fields planted with, with new seed. We did get that the other day and hopefully we can get the planter. Um, we rent one. It's a brilliant seeder. Um, so hopefully we can get that uh, out and hopefully the ground is fit enough to plant on. Um, we're planting over like existing pastures. So it's not like we're planting in the dirt or the mud, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully it goes well. Um, of course, the wind's picking up. I'm gonna have another video where I have to say sorry about all the wind, guys. Um, just checking on a few things. Um, I've got one heifer that yesterday she looked like she was gonna calf, so we'll see how that's going today. Uh, maybe take a look at Mitch because he's getting big and sassy um, and really loves his bottle. Um, and then uh, maybe some of the pigs, and away we go. So, this is Lacey, and yes, she is dirty. Um, not my choice. I wish that there was a little less rain and a little a little bit more dry areas around here. Um, but this is Lacey and she is just starting labor. Um, I will check back after her calf is born and tell you what she had. Um, she's got, I don't know if you can see it, right, right there. That little line of goo that's actually coming out of her back end. Um, and she is been up in the three-sided shed all day. And yeah, she's in labor. Cora is due about the same time that uh, Lacey up there in the three-sided shed is due. Um, if you can see, her udder is a lot more formed than it was uh, last week or yesterday even. Um, and she says, yeah, I'm getting uncomfortable. Definitely getting uncomfortable. She dropped a little bit. You can kind of tell right up in here. Um, she's black right there, so it's kind of hard to tell on a video. But when the sun is shining on her, you can kind of see that she's dropped just a hair bit. Um, I do think that she's a little bit off, though. Uh, you know, a couple days or so. Um, I don't think it's going to be tonight, but Lacey's is definitely going to happen today. Um, and then we'll pan around and Grey Duck and Daisy right there. And Chili way back over there, right there. That is June and Rocket with the green ear tag and then her calf is next to her dipstick is dipstick's calf hard to say is right there and then right behind her right behind um, Daisy right here that's actually her calf from two years ago last year last year yeah last year so that's timber um, and then Libby she's right here she's not due until June um, so is um, Daisy right here. She's not doing till June. But yeah, it's not it's not the best conditions out here. We've gotten six tenths of rain and I think about an inch yesterday. Uh, it's definitely going to help the the fields. I mean, things are greening up uh, back out here. Uh, we did a little ripping on the the hay field or the the hay field slash pasture. Um, we're going to be doing some planting on that in the future. It's starting to green up, but it's not there yet. Uh, I'd really like to get these girls out of this winter pen and out of the mud, but spring is on its way, but it's just not hurrying up at all. Oh, right there is, that's Jade, sorry, focus, Jade, right there, right there, and her calf is right next to her. Supper time here. Gray duck, chili. June is right after chili. Daisy is next. And then um, Jade on the end. Uh, gonna go like that. So that goober that's hanging out of this one is called a retained placenta. 
she calved uh, two days ago and she hasn't fully dropped um, basically what the calf comes in. Um, so I've given her a shot of what's called Ludolase and that's going to help her drop that, um, that extra uh, baby goo out of her um, and uh, hopefully we can go from there. That being said, that is Lacey and Lacey, um, she had a bull calf. Um, everything went well with him. Her birth seemed fairly easy, although it was really long. Um, and then, uh, well, basically it, uh, so basically what I was trying to say was, uh, she had a, a long birth, but not, it wasn't crazy hard or anything like that. Um, but she decided that she didn't want to be a bum. So I now have two bottle calves. I have Mitch and I have this new little bull calf. Uh, I don't have a name for him yet. Um, but he is in with Isla as well as with Mitch so that they both can teach him the ways of the world, um, the ropes of eating uh, hay and getting on grain and water. Uh, Mitch already eats grain and um, he eats hay and he drinks some water. He's still primarily on the bottle, but he only gets um, a bottle twice a day instead of three times a day. Um, and this new little bull calf gets uh, three times a day. So, yeah. So that uh, wasn't exactly the way I wanted things to end for for Lacey, but uh, it is what it is, and then you move on. It's the trials and tribulations of farm life. Not everything goes as planned, in fact. It very rarely does. Uh, the next up for calving would be Cora, and her udder is looking pretty full, and her back end is looking pretty full. I'm hoping that she's not going to try to calf in the weather that we're going to have tonight. Supposedly we're going to have some serious thunder booming weather. Um, that being said, we'll see how it goes because you never know. Alright, well, I apologize for not posting uh, this video a little bit sooner. Um, things have kind of been a little bit crazy around here with, with weather related things and, uh, and life. So. Thank you for watching and I appreciate uh, your su subscription. Please like and subscribe um, and also put in a comment on what you might like to see here. Um, other than that, I'll check you later. This is what happens when you're in Minnesota but you're thinking you live in Oklahoma. It's, it's coming with a vent.